One of the teammates brought in a scenario to team meeting yesterday. She has a client who can currently qualify 800,000, but would like to buy somewhere in the million dollar range. And their question to her was, do we wait and save until we can buy the million dollar house? Or do we buy the $800,000 house that we can qualify for today and let it do some work for us? Here's how that discussion went. You buy the $800,000 house, your P&I is going to get locked in for $4,800 a month for the next 30 years, regardless of what the market does. You could even get that down a little lower if there's a refinancing opportunity. Six years from now, the $800,000 home is going to be worth the million. And this is where it gets fun because the million dollar house that you were originally looking at is now worth 1.2 and you have to qualify for even more, which nobody wants to do. You want to qualify for the million today. We don't know where rates are going to be in the future. And if they go up into seven, eight percent, this six thousand a month is going to turn into seven, eight thousand real quick. So we've let this home appreciate for a few years in the time that we've been saving up and whatnot. This home is now worth a million and we have over two hundred thousand in equity that we can use for whatever we'd like. If we'd like to, we could apply the two hundred thousand to this one point two and bring that home back down to a million dollar purchase for the dream home that you originally wanted. So no, it does not behoove you to wait to save more to buy more house. It behooves you to buy what you can today, let it put in a little work for you on the back end while you're also putting in front end work to really maximize what you can get out of your next stepping stone in real estate. I would have loved to have started with my dream home, but I had to start with a double wide trailer because it's all I could afford. Then I moved to a more expensive area and got a single family home, but it's teeny tiny. Uh, and I'm still stepping up from there. So sometimes you do have to take a step back to launch yourself forward, especially in the game of real estate. So let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any scenarios. We are here to guide you into the realm of success.